Jungkook slowly walked towards you on his tiptoes and hugged you from back. You flinched a little with this unexpected hug but got relaxed when you realized that only one person can make you feel like this. You quickly wiped your tears and put on a soft smile. I missed you, love. He kissed your neck and then rested his chin on your shoulder. You said you would come by tomorrow. He exit. My work got done early so I came to my love as soon as possible. I'm a genius, right? This made you chuckle as he also smiled and made you look at him. But his smile faded when he saw your face as it was clearly visible that you must be crying earlier. He cupped your face. You cried? You put your hands over his and slowly lowered them down. No, I didn't. Don't lie to me, Ryan. I can see clearly. What happened? That's the problem of you mafias. You guys lost your temper so easily. Nothing happened to me and I didn't cry. I was just missing you so much. It has been 4 days since you were away from me. I was just feeling alone without you. Tempo hugged you. I'm sorry. You wrapped your arms around his waist and rested your head on his chest before your eyes closed. This is your home where you feel most safest. He is your home. A mafia who suddenly became your everything. A man who values you over anything else in this world. Now I'm fine. He rested his chin on your head. You slowly open your eyes as your grip on his shirt got tightened. Someone recently said such hurtful words to you that it broke you from inside. I'm not moving from this house for a few days until I compensate my dear wife. Did you have dinner? Not really. You broke the hug and looked at him. Let's go then. I'll cook for you. He smiled. How about you? Your eyes widen when you realize what he mean. You hit his arm lightly, making him laugh a little. Forward. Call me whatever, but I'm gonna fulfill my wish tonight. But before that, let me cook ramen for you. You both went inside the house laughing and giggling. Jungkook placed a soft kiss on your forehead and smiled softly. The best part of coming back home is that I know my wife is waiting for me and just by seeing you, even my worst days become peaceful. If you have tried, you would have gotten someone better than me. He frowned and then sat down. You realize you shouldn't have said this. Jungkook looked pissed. I was getting chill. It was a very bad joke. Don't you dare to say that again. He looked down. He again lay down and held your hand in his before intervening your fingers. For me, you are the most perfect woman. No matter how perfect others are, my eyes always search for you and will forever. This made your heart cry. You were trying to control that urge of crying because it won't be good to cry in front of him. He can't see tears in your eyes. It's been a year you and Jungkook got married. It was not an arranged marriage but not a loved one too. You just caught his eyes and he approached to your father to get his permission. After a few months of dating, you fell in love with him so badly. He is the guy of your dreams. No matter how dangerous he is for the world,
but you never knew you would face troubles in blending in his family, especially his mother who shows that she's happy for him on his face but then say the most hurtful words to you behind him. You didn't tell him because you don't want to make him upset. He slowly closed your eyes while your face was resting on his chest. He smiled and pulled the blanket over both of you. Good night, love. Jungkook was still sleeping and because you knew he must be so tired, that's why you didn't wake him up. You came in the living room and was going towards the kitchen to make coffee for both of you when you, you saw Sumi walking from the main door. Sumi and me? He walked towards her as you were confused by her sudden arrival. You both reached near each other. Hi, Ryan. How are you? You nodded. I'm good, Unni. Please sit. She smiled as you both walked towards the couches before sitting in them. Is Jungkook home? You nodded. Yes, he came last night. She exhaled and looked at you. Why? I came here to apologize to you for from mom's side. Unni, I know it must have hurt you so much but I would suggest you to ignore her words. We all know that how perfect you are for Jungkook. In fact, never in my life I thought Jungkook would fall in for a woman this deeply. You have changed him a lot for the good and I'm proud of you. You look down. I'm not mad at her. She's a mother and maybe she wanted something else for her son. Maybe she can see what we all can't. You lift up your head while she shakes her head. In love, we don't look for each other's flaws, Vyan. That's what love is and no matter if you meet her standards or not. You are my brother's wife. If he came to know about this, I can already imagine what would he do. Please don't mention this thing in front of him. I don't want him to fight with his mother because of me. What happened has already happened. It's okay if she doesn't like me. But why am Who has a problem with you? Your heart dropped when you heard his voice. You and Somi both looked back at him as he walked near you too and looked at you. What are you hiding from me, Vyan? You swallowed and shook your head. It's not what you are thinking, Jungkook. We were just talking about something else, right, Unni? Jungkook looked at his sister who lowered her eyes. I want to hear the truth, Nuna, and I know you can never hide anything from me. She slowly lifted up her head and looked at Junko. You slowly shook your head making sure Junko won't notice. Yes, you love him infinite, but you never want to be the cause of hate between him and his mother. You don't blame her for not liking you. Of course she wanted someone else. Someone who is more capable and with a status that matches theirs to be his son's wife, but instead he chose you. Sumi exhaled and told him everything. That's why you should never dream of something that can never be yours. Only being married to my son won't make you the daughter-in-law of this family, and her status is even below our servants. Mom, what are you saying? She was so surprised by the way Mrs. John started to talk to you in front of so many people, completely ignoring the fact that you are her son's wife. I didn't say anything wrong. What she has to make her compatible with my son. I would never choose her to be the daughter-in-law of John family even if she was the last girl on this earth. You were standing there looking down while tears were dropping from your eyes. Mom, 
You can't say such words to her. She is Jungkook's wife and he knows what he has chosen. Not everyone thinks like you. He's happy then let him. Whatever, but she isn't the right one for him and soon he will also realize it. He couldn't bear her hurtful words anymore so he left from there. Ayan, she looked at her mother. You shouldn't have done this now. You notice Jungkook's hand clenching into fist. After hearing everything, he looked at you in disbelief as you hide such things from him. He was about to walk from there and was looking completely mad, but he got up and grabbed his hand. Jungkook, he looked at you while his eyes started to get red because of anger. Where are you going? That is none of your concern. He slowly removed your hand but you again grabbed it. You won't say anything to her. He came closer to you without breaking the eye contact. She was the reason behind your tears. Because of her you lied to me and maybe in the future too. So I get to fix it because I can tolerate anything. But not your tears. She has to apologize. He grabbed your hand and brought you with him. So me said. This needs to be fixed. Jungkook? She slowly got up as she saw her son. She was happy to see him here, but her smile dropped when you walked from behind. She raised her brow. Jungkook's parents are still working and they are known to be the most successful business personalities, as they have the most successful business and are running several well known companies. Their living standards are still like royals. In fact, his mother is an elected member. Jungkook walked near her while still holding your hand. Mrs. John noticed that and then shifted her eyes on him. How did you forget the way to you today? She was always against his marriage, but no one knew she has so much hate for you, put it inside. Jungkook was unbothered and he didn't care if she liked you or not. But something he can never tolerate is someone hurt you. I think you own an apology to my wife. You looked at Jungkook but his eyes never left his mother's. She looked at you and then chuckled before walking towards the place where she was shit sitting earlier. So you came here to make me apologize to her. She looked at both of you. Can I know the reason? You very well know the reason, mom. It's you who did this. If there was someone at your place, then I would have even given a chance to apologize. She scoffed. Are you trying to threaten me, son? Did you forget that I'm your mother? I said what I said. Neither I'm scared of you nor I'm gonna take my words back. Jungkook, let's go. This is not right. You paused when he left your hand and walked near his mother, who was looking at him fearlessly. She is far different from those typical mothers and has power with that she brings down so many high status people. That's from where Jungkook got this attitude. You can say he is a complete copy of his mother but something he learned from his father is to respect your love no matter what. He can go as far as he can to protect his love and you are his wife. He can fight for the world for you. That's completely your choice mom. But after this day, forget that you have a son and if you can't accept his wife, then you have no right on him too. I hope you would never repeat this mistake again because he didn't finish this sentence and grabbed your hand before leaving from there. A fool just like his father. He walked near Jungkook and sat beside him before putting your hand on top of his, making him turn his face towards her. 
It's not her fault if you see. She would gladly accept me if I was the girl of her choice. Maybe she had imagined a lot for you, but didn't get the chance to see them happening. I don't care. I found my love in you and that was the best decision in my life. And I'm thankful for myself that I chose you. I don't care whether she accepts you or not, but I can't tolerate her insulting you, even if she is my mother. I gave a promise to your dad that I will protect you until my last breath. And if someone is insulting you, they are not only insulting you but me too. And I can never let that happen, even if it's my mother or anyone else. A tear dropped from your eyes and it directly landed in the top of his hand. He looked at you. What's now? Why are you crying? He shook your head. I'm not crying, it's just you are making me emotional. He wiped your tears with his tongue. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. You chuckle to find how innocent he acts sometimes. I don't know how I ended up catching your eyes, but I'm so happy and thankful to the God. I never thought I would get someone who would ended up loving me like this after my dad. He cupped your face gently. I love you more than your father does. He laughed. I don't think so because no matter how much you love me, you can never top him. He pouted and looked away. So you wanna say you don't love me? No, when did I say that? Of course I love you. But then why did you say you love your father more? Are you even serious Jungkook? Both are different. That is a different kind of love. There is no comparison of it. He messed his hair. I seriously don't understand what you are saying. He chuckled and wrapped your arms around his neck before pecking on his lips. That immediately made him stop. He swallowed. This is different. We are not blood related but still our heart beat for each other. Our bodies want us together. We were strangers who become each other's everything. This is different. Now I want to experience that love too, but only my kids would make that possible. What do you think? Richard Gunn.